हेलो स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर गड़ा केसेस फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला स्टूडेंट वे आर लर्निंग द फाइनल इयर सब्जेक्ट दैट इज नथिंग बट सोलर एंड वाइंड एनर्जी सो रिलेटेड टू दैट सोलर एनर्जी वो हैव सीन यूनिट नंबर फोर टू यूनिट नंबर वन यूनिट नंबर वन टू यूनिट नंबर फोर एंड रिलेटेड टू द यूनिट नंबर फाइव एंड यूनिट नंबर सिक्स वो हैव टू सी द वाइंड एनर्जी एंड बायोमैस एनर्जी so wind energy also we have seen up to the last lecture those who have not seen that videos you can see that videos from our youtube channel so student in the today's lecture we are going to see one of the new topic that is nothing but the biomass energy so what about the biomass energy what actual biomass energy is there and which are the types of biomass energy that we are going to see in the today's lecture so let's see what is the biomass energy the introduction related to the biomass energy is given so as we listen the word biomass energy biomass means what the from the energy derived from the wastage material so let's see the biomass means what the biomass refers to the mass of biological materials that means the biomass refers to the mass of biological materials produced from living processes this includes the material derived from the plants as well as from the animals also that means the material derived from the plants and animals material derived from the plants are which are the materials so leaves okay so various uh, parts of the plants that means nothing but the biomass biological materials okay chemically biomass refers to the hydrocarbon containing hydrogen carbon and oxygen biomass content how many parts three parts which are that hydrogen carbon and oxygen also that means three gases are there included into the biomass so hydrogen carbon and oxygen which can be represented in the form of c6n h2o 5n that means what both the, all of the three components are involved in the biomass so carbon oxygen and hydrogen also we extract biomass from the numerous sources like the plants trees agricultural crops raw materials from the forest household waste and the wood also that means that are the all raw material sources for production of biomass so from that all the material we can derive the biomass the contribution of the biomass to our energy requirement becomes in the form of food and the fuels that means what contribution of the biomass to our energy requirement comes in the form of food and fuels there are several other requirements that are being served by the use of the biomass namely shelter preparation fodder for animal nutrient for the soils etc that means that all requirement can be fulfilled from the biomass energy the earlier inhabitants on the earth burns the wood in their campfires for the heat and since then it has been source of energy for meeting the human needs all of you understand that so that is nothing but the biomass and some of the history of the biomass so biomass we can say that biomass is a solar energy stored in the organic matter that means it contain three gases and also it is a solar energy stored in the organic matter organic matter means the material extracted from the living materials plants or animal as trees and plants grows the process of photosynthesis use the energy from the sun to convert co2 that is a hydrocarbon to convert co2 of the atmosphere into the carbohydrates that's are nothing but the sugar starch and glucose that means all of you know the photosynthesis process in the photosynthesis process we are converting the carbohydrates okay co2 into the carbohydrates that is the sugar starch and silicon 
so i think all of you know the photosynthesis process and all of you have learned about the photosynthesis process so that is nothing but the introduction related to the biomass energy now the next point we are going to see that is nothing but the types of biomass and their applications so types of biomass we are going to see and along with their application so biomass can be defined any material that is derived from the biological process that we have seen that means from biological process we will de derive the material and that is called as a biomass thus plant trees crops animal dungs etc can be considered as a biomass that means that all are the raw material for the production of the biomass the biomass has many applications which includes foods and fuel for our direct consumption fodder for the consumption by the animals fertilizer for supplying the essential nutrients to the soil and feed stock for power generation also thus there is a wide range of application and the use of biomass for energy generation is only one amount many the biomass can mainly be divided into the three categories so three types of biomass are there generally so let's see the three types of biomass first biomass is nothing but the woody biomass as per the name woody means what the biomass derived from the wood so that may be the raw wood or any another so the biomass derived from the wood is called the woody biomass so let's see what they have said about woody biomass this includes the biomass in the form of trees so trees from forest or trees from farm or commercial plantation etc that means from anywhere you can take the tree and the the biomass from the trees is nothing but the woody biomass the use of woody biomass is mainly for household and industrial application for making the furnitures shelters agricultural tools etc that means woody biomass can be used for the different applications so for making the furniture in the household shelters agricultural tools etc that's are the application of woody biomass so in rural areas woody biomass is used as a fuel wood all of you know that means that bio woody biomass can be used as a fuel wood for cooking the purposes while in the urban areas charcoal an upgraded form of woody biomass is used for the cooking that means the woody biomass or woody fuel is used for the cooking purposes in the rural area and urban areas all of you understand sir so that's are some application of the woody biomass so all of you understand what is the woody biomass biomass derived from the trees and application of woody biomass we have seen for household application industrial application or so many application so that all are about the woody biomass now next biomass is nothing but the crop residues crop residues means what when we are cropping the uh, seeds or any another agricultural activities so remaining crop residues we can used as a crop biomass so let's see how we can use that crop biomass so crop residues this includes the crops and plant residues produced in the field so these are the residues that remains after taking out seeds from the crops for instant for instance hogs baggage okay then nut shells etc the crop residues has several applications it can be used for the livestock feeding as manure together with the animal dung as the source of nutrient for the soils all of you understand so crop nutrient we can use for the different applications also so that is the second biomass which we can use so first biomass we have seen that is the woody biomass second biomass we have seen that is nothing but the crop residues then third and last type of biomass we are going to see that is the animal waste animal waste is also one of the biomass so animal dung and the poultry manure come in this categories so poultry manure 
and the animal dung that are the two important raw materials for the animal biomass so animal waste is a good source of the nutrients it is a good source of nutrients and is used as a fertilizer for the farm animal dung is also used for cooking either directly by burning or converting it into the biogas that means animal dung can be used for three applications first one for the nutrient as a nutrient for the farm second application of that animal dung is that we can dry it and we can directly burn it for the cooking application or third application we will with the help of biogas plant we can convert that animal dung into the gas so and that gas we will be used for the cooking application so that's are some applications of the animal dung and for the poultry manure that poultry manure is manure is used for the nutrient as for the farm which is then burn to cook the food thus animal also fulfill our energy needs that means the waste from the animal also fulfill the energy needs of our human beings all of you understand so that's are the three types of the uh, three types of the biomass so first one we have seen woody biomass second one we have seen crop residues and third biomass we have seen the animal waste so that three biomass we have seen and its application also we have seen so in the today's lecture we have seen what is the biomass and which are the types of biomass and along with their application so today we will stop here for the today's lecture and next point we will continue in the next lecture okay thank you friends